zippity doo -dah. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. So if you look directly underneath this video, you're going to find a little link and it's going to open up the page that you see in front of you. So you want to go ahead and click on that. And uh, once the page opens up, you're going to have to scroll down just a little bit. And as you can see, just right here, it's a, on my account, it says, welcome, Chris. So if you're already logged in, it's going to say your name in front of you or say your name right there. If not, it's going to have your it's going to ask for an email and a password and to log in. So obviously you're going to have to put your username and your password or your email again and your password and then just go ahead and hit the login button. Now, once you do that, it's going to take you to a page like you see in front of you. Now, if you look directly underneath this video as well, um, you'll see the files that we're going to use. So most of you know how to how to save a how to save something into your computer. If you don't know how to do that, if you go back and watch the last video that we did, um, we'll show you how to how to save a file into your computer. But uh, most of you, it's a pretty basic basic thing when it comes down to the internet. So I'm sure most of you do know how to save something into your computer. So you're going to want to go ahead and do that. So if you haven't done so already. Just uh, look at the image down below directly underneath this video and then save that into your computer someplace. Uh, you might be you might save it into your uh, your documents or some, save it into some sort of a file that you have within your computer. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to open up and what you're going to do, too, is you're going to follow my directions. So we're going to go ahead and open a project saved to your computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to select choose file and it's going to open up our little dialog box. Now these are some of the files that I've already saved and as we continue going throughout these videos you'll see also see how to how to save and to open up these these files. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do uh, the bail well in this in particular video um, we're going to do the business card but at the beginning of the business card, it always tells us what the campaign is. So it really does depend on which in particular campaign that you're working on. Uh, you might see, like if you're, if you're just starting off, you might see coupon or, uh, you know, vacation contest or just, uh, again, really depends on, on which campaign that you're really working on to what you're going to see here. So let's go ahead and just select uh, so the one that I'm going to be working on here is the business card. So let's go ahead and select the business card and we'll go ahead and select open. And then we'll go ahead and hit the little green button and it's going to open it up as well. And we'll just wait just a second for it to open. And so as you can see here, it's still loading up. It's going to take just a minute or so here. Um, now, what I've done here for you, uh, it may look the when you start seeing the business card, it may look pretty basic um, because we're not focusing on the the high graphics and you know making things look very very expensive. Um, we're focused we're focused more upon uh, not the art ar artistic elements of it, but what it takes to actually make a sale. So again, we're looking at what the type of advertising that was done during the 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, and sometimes even 50s. At least that was primarily done. It was very, very basic. Yes, they even back then they had uh, the the um, technical or the mechanic me mechanic stuff to make some really nice pictures by printing it up. They could use different color inks. And, and but yet they didn't do it because they knew what made a sale and we still know what it makes it takes to make a sale today as well and so we're not going to focus on making high graphics or anything we want people to know what our message is so as you can see in front of you uh, again depending on which campaign that you're working on you're going to see the the advertising message that we're working on. So it, the one that I'm working on, and again, the one that I'm working on might be different than the one that you're working on. But as you can see in the computer in front of you, discover the secrets to adding three to $500 per month added onto your paycheck 
through a series of governmental stimulus programs. So that's our, our headline. Nobody cares about, you know, a picture or pictures of mountains or, you know, a, a lot of the stuff that people put on business cards. They care about what is the marking message? How does this marking message impact me as a person who's reading it? Okay, now if I'd like to receive more information on this, so it says discover the secrets to adding three to five hundred dollars per month added onto your paycheck through a series of governmental stimulus programs. Text the keyword 96,000 or visit URL. So, um, chances are at this point you have already set up your short code with your mobile marketing system. So, is all that you're gonna do? So, come on, pay attention with me. So all that you're going to do here is come over here and we're going to put our cursor right there and we're just going to hit the back button. Whoops, make sure that the quote is there and I'm going to put the keyword of pro star because that is the short code that I used. Now it might be different than the one that you used, but um, put the, the short code that you used followed by 96,000. Now what you might also want to do just to um, kind of show people that um, to make that that word stand out okay you can come over so here's what I do is I put my cursor right there as you can see the cursor is flashing I hold down my left mouse button I drag it all across to where it highlights like this right I come over here to where it says text color and I click on this and let's say I'm going to do an orange okay and so you see it in orange uh, I don't think that sticks out enough uh, but let me go ahead and select yellow instead so there's the yellow and that's that's better I like that one better that sticks out a little bit more um, now what I can also do here so I can come down here and now I'm gonna need to change the website address as well so URL um, it's just kind of like a little thing that stands for your website. What is your website? It is your unique, I forget what it stands for, but it's a URL. Um, but what we're going to put in place of that is your website. So let's put ProStarProfits.com. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Now you don't have to do that, but if this is something that you want to do just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more go ahead and choose the color of yellow now this underline this line this red line underneath of it just says that it's misspelled because pro star what is a, a what is pro star whoops I put pro star twice um, but what is a pro star it thinks that that's misspelled right um, but it's not because they they think it should be like the computer thinks it should be two words so if you see that just kind of ignore that um, it's not when you when you have it printed up it's not going to show up when you print it um, now uh, if your keyword if your short code is long enough you might have to move these little arrows and the way that you do that is you click on it you click on the little arrow whoops I did it just a second ago you click on it and then you can move it around and just make sure that it's not touching the the the, the text okay but I'm gonna I'll move it back so the way I do that is I come back up here and I move it back to the position that it was before so it's all it's all perfect now so look at your keyword look at your uh, headline and make sure that it's all perfect and then uh, and then Again, like I said, you could go ahead if you wanted to modify it. You could change the colors and stuff on this as well. Um, but we want to just kind of keep it the way it is for the most part. And but you'll see your your headline on your business card. Okay, change your short code, change your website. If you want to change that and say, what if you don't want to use? Let's say that you're not using a website at this point. Let's say you just want to put a phone number. So you could say or instead you could say or dial 818 which is my phone number 457-2416 that's something that you could do as well 
if you're not using a website or if you're not planning on using a website shortly. So that's another thing that you could do. That's This little section is called your call to action. Uh, what do you want people to do? You want people to visit your location. You want people to call you. You want people to download, you know, to, to join your mobile list. You know, that's your call to action. Okay, now that we've done that, so everything is perfect. Everything's how we want it. Now we come up over here to where it says save. And we're going to save it to my computer. And just so I don't replace my last version of it, I'm just going to call this, uh, put it a one at the end of it, just to make it a little bit different. I'm going to click save now, and it's going to ask me to download it. So the way that I do this, is I click on that, and it takes me to this page right here, and I just come back over here and click save again. Now, in your case, it will ask you, there'll be another box and it will ask you, uh, do you want to replace this? And you want to say yes, okay? So now that, that part is all done. And, uh, and that's where we'll end this video. Now you do have an option to print this, this uh, marking material from your own personal home computer or to have them do it. Now you could also save it to a file and save it to a, a disk or email it to somebody and then they can print it as well. But I'll show you how to do that part of it in another video. But I do hope this information has been helpful. Take care everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now.